Hey everyone, welcome back to Automate with Amit. So most of the students generally have this doubt that uh, Java is so vast and developers also use Java and uh, database uh, people also use Java and it is getting used in various domains of programming, right? So what are different things as an automation test engineer we should be focusing on so that, you know, we should be more aligned to what we wanted to be and what we wanted to learn. So I am going to answer this question in this particular video. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed this channel, please do subscribe. It helps me as well as the channel to grow. So let's begin. Okay, so there are certain topics, you know, uh, in my nine years of automation testing career, I have used multiple topics which are there in Java. And uh, those topics are maybe you know they are getting used by developers also the databases or other engineers also but uh, these are very common all across and as an automation test engineer basically there are few topics which are very rele relevant and you need not to focus on rest of the those things which are getting used by developers or other people right so First thing first, what is the first topic which is required to learn in Java as an automation testing year? So Java is an object oriented programming, right? So that if you are learning any object oriented programming uh, language, then it is very, very obvious that you should be aware of what is object oriented prog programming and what are different pillars of them like uh, you know encapsulation polymorphism inheritance and abstraction so those are few, four pillars so how you implement them what are different topics inside those four pillars so you should be aware of those four pillars and all the topics related to them so not only that uh, you should be very well well versed that uh, how practically you are going to implement and what are different uh, things like uh, abstract classes, interfaces, all those things, encapsulation, how do you implement it actually in your project and in your framework that is the most uh, you know used and uh, that is the most uh, important topic of Java. Second thing is um, collections okay so see you have to deal with uh, collections right you have to deal with the data uh, coming on the ui coming out uh, from the ui you are dealing with data test data and all those things so you have to deal with data everywhere every time so what are different things which you can learn in java to handle data so it's collections right so being it uh, list arrays uh, what are different uh, you know maps sets so what are these topics under this what are different categories in which uh, you know if uh, hash sets or hash maps these are the topics basically if you learn so basically you have to learn collections very well how you perform uh, different uh, operations on them uh, adding uh, retrieving and uh, you know deleting the data from collections so all those operations you should be very well aware of third thing which is very much important is uh, string manipulation okay so why string manipul manipulation because you see automation are you know uh, either you are gonna be doing um, ui automation or api automation so i'm not talking about uh, other automation uh, things like uh, performance or other things just i'm talking about ui and api so if you are going to you know learn these things then you will be dealing with data somehow and you need to manipulate uh, whatever is incoming or outgoing data is there right so for that purpose you need to manipulate them according to the requirement so if anything coming in the form of strings or numbers you have to manipulate it so those uh, manipulations basically is very very much required and you should be aware of how to uh, deal with that how to you know uh, maybe you know very very important uh, kind of uh, question is uh, how you are going to reverse the string or how you are uh, going to type some kind of uh, you know a string in different format or something like that so dealing with a string manipulation is very much important and uh, now another thing is for sure uh, whatever are the basics of java maybe you know if else conditions i'm not going to talk about those things because those are very very much important uh, if else conditions 
so basically it's called control flow uh, statements so if else conditions loops basically so how you uh, use loops how you use if else or uh, you know switch case statements so all these things how you are going to learn um, uh, these are very very much important uh, topics in uh, java Another thing is, uh, I think, uh, is uh, related to the generics. Okay, so it's a kind of a little bit advanced thing. Uh, once you are very well versed with uh, basic thing like uh, uh, you know uh, object-oriented programming skills, collections, and uh, uh, string manipulations. Once you are very much uh, versed with well versed with these things, then you should be moving on and you should be learning more about file handlings. Uh, you know how how you can basically um, do different operations on files so these are few topics which are very very much important and if you are going for interviews I think you should be very well focused on these topics how you are so these are five topics which I just talked so let's uh, end this video till here so these are five topics let's summarize first one is object oriented programming skills okay so in object oriented programming uh, there are pillars right encapsulation um, abstraction polymorphism inheritance so how you are going to implement all those all four uh, different uh, pillars in your programming that is the one thing second which i talked about is uh, collections so collections in collections how you are going to handle uh, you know arrays uh, different variables different uh, you know uh, data uh, so map list sets so all those things uh, comes under second part which is uh, collections third thing is uh, which i told is related to the string manipulation so how you are going to you know manipulate the string so different operations on the strings basically that was the third part fourth part i told that control flow statements so maybe you know if else conditions or uh, uh, loops how you are going to interact with them so all those things that is the fourth part fifth is exception handling so basically if any error happens so there could be two types of errors first is um, compile time and runtime. So, how you are going to handle any kind of exceptions which may occur in Java, that is the thing which you should be very much focused on. So, let's summarize. First is object oriented programming, second is collection, third is string manipulation, fourth is Java basics and uh, uh, syntax, fifth is your uh, exception handling, file handling. Okay, so that was all. And uh, if you have some clarity in this particular video please press like button and help others also to uh, get this video because uh, you know most of the people are confused what to learn if i if uh, you know interviewer asks that uh, okay so if i ask you to read uh, to rate yourself out of 10 so what is uh, your answer so most of the people say okay uh, Java is so vast so how much I would rate yourself I should rate uh, I should be rating myself as three so no uh, you should not be rating as three because you are going to apply for a specific job role right for automation testing engineer and what Java is required for that particular role that on that basis only you should be uh, you know rating yourself so if some someone asks that uh, okay out of ten how much should uh, you rate yourself you are going to rate yourself you should be telling that okay uh, for the job role i am applying which is automation testing in uh, engineer role for that core java is the main uh, java which is required uh, in the job role so for core java thing whatever topics are there i am going to rate myself so and so so out of 10 uh, whatever is your you know proficiency in that language uh, for core java you can answer that okay so i hope uh, this video was helpful and if you have any particular question any question related to java or any other topics you can post that in the comment box and if you get some uh, value from this video please make sure that you push the like button and subscribe the channel to get more useful content like this amit ripati signing off